Hi, my name is Josh, and today I will be um, I'll be reviewing my opponent, which is Christina, and her um, claim, which is the Turkish government carried out the Armenian genocide, distinguished Armenian population of the Ottoman Empire. And going through this, I'll go through all three of her um, secondary claims. First one being the acts Turkey committed against Armenians are considered acts of genocide. Basically, in this whole claim, all her evidence was was explaining what genocide was which didn't really help her main claim, because her main claim wasn't an argument, it was more of uh, just information guy giving me a um, background to what genocide was, it didn't help her out. Um, and her secondary claim was massacres between 1890 and 1915 led up to an Armenian genocide. She at first stated that the Armenian demonstration in Constantinople, which was a demonstration of Kum Kapu, was a massacre that the Turkish officers and officials did to the Armenian protesters. But she, she misinformed the information. It wasn't like that. What apparently happened was it was a demonstration by many protesters who ran into the palace and they started making a commotion and the officers had no reason, or had a reason, and they had, they had to attack on the Armenians who were getting a little bit too fierce. And as well, she also used another fact that um, the massacre in Adana, which is a city in Armenia, um, said that the attack was caused by political, economical, and religious differences. And basically that wasn't because of race, so it wasn't genocide, which was um, to kill a group or a, a, to kill a group or racial background. This was all caused because of religious background. Because everybody in the um, Um, basically, this whole claim two, which was about the massacres in 1890 and 1915, and claim three, which is the Armenian Experience to Act of Defying Genocide, were both don't help the major claim, since they both were just information, not arguments about the whole main claim. All right, Josh, well, you, you identify the main proposition, and uh, the, the secondary points you're labeling as you're going through them, uh, the ad, you basically challenge that the first point is not really making an inference, that it's just informational in nature, uh, defining the nature of genocide, and that's, I think, a, a reasonable challenge to make, show that it's not an argument. If you don't dispute the definition, then there's not really anything to argue about. Then the question becomes, do the examples that the advocate's presenting fit that particular definition of what genocide is. And there seems to be some dispute that's going on here. On the one massacre, for instance, you say that uh, the uh, advocates claim, or the advocate claims that all of these massacres that occurred between 1890 and 1950 uh, were uh, genocidal in nature, and then you make a reference to the attack on the palace and the... Um, uh, I guess it's the Turkish officers, and you say that they are simply they were simply responding to a mob of protesters who attacked the palace, and that they were justified in taking their actions, or that they uh, had, maybe they weren't justified in the number of people that they killed, but they were doing it not because they were genocidal per se, but because they were responding to this particular issue. I think that's a, a legitimate point. You could use a source citation on that point uh, to make that, and I, I know that you've got some. Information information somewhere, but you're not giving it to us there. Uh, when you talk about the Adrana massacre, I think you might want to remind us what the advocate said on that particular point, what constituted that massacre, because I don't really have uh, <coughs> that memory about
about it. Your claim is that it wasn't race-based, but it was political in nature because of religious controversy. I'm not sure if religious controversy fits the definition of genocide or not. That's why that first point was, in fact, kind of important. Um, and your point here just got a little bit confusing. You're basically saying that uh, the evidence doesn't make any inferences, but the examples seem to be supporting the general, you know, they seem to fit the generalization that's being made on the first point. And so if that's the case, I think that's where the argument is. All right, thank you. Thank you all for your patience this evening.